Just now, uh, Sebastian, talking about one world, one market. Okay. Many companies, they still say that one world, one market is not possible. Okay. And DXN, we are not only good in one world, one market. We are also very good in the products. Okay. We have fantastic product. Why, what are the factors that make our products so special compared to other companies? First thing first, in Europe, people talk about organic products, am I right? Uh, organic products. What is the best way to certify that the product is organic? It is not by organic certifications by a local authorities, no? Okay, for example, if I certify organic in Malaysia, when I come to Europe, this certification cannot be used. So if I certify my products organic in Europe, when I go to America, they will not accept. And this organic certification is like a political camp. They don't recognize each other. <laughs> But there is one organic certification that all the countries will accept. What is that? That is ISO 14001. ISO 14001 is more than organic. First, of course, your farm free from chemical, which is organic. First one. Secondly, the farm should not emit any odious or anything that affect the people. Many organic farms, they are very smelly because they use a lot of compost, no? This thing, that will be filled in ISO 14001. Then thirdly, whatever you do in a farm should not harm the surrounding. Okay, for example, now we are planting Genonema. There are two types of Genonema, no? One type of Genonema only live on the dead wood. Another type of Ganonema that live on the live tree. We take a long time for us to get the ISO 14001. You know why? First, they want to check is the farm emit any, any audio, uh, any, any bad smell, or oh, that's okay. Okay. You go to the farm, our farm have very clean environment. Second day, they want to confirm whether our Ganonema will attack the live tree. Well, your Ganonema emit out the spores. Okay? If the spores go to the neighbor's farm and Ganonema attack the farm, then you'll be failed in ISO 14001. So luckily, our Ganonema doesn't attack live trees. Okay? After a long time, we get ISO 14001. So when people ask you about organic certifications, okay, you must show them ISO 14001 of DXN. Okay, we also have organic certification by the Agriculture Department of Malaysia. We also show it to the people, but there is a localized certifications. It cannot be used worldwide. To use it worldwide, we need ISO 14001. I think DXN, we are the only, if not the only one, we are one of the very few companies that have ISO 14001. Yeah, listen, very few. Yeah. This is about organic, organic this uh, uh, plantation. What is important is our selection of species. Malaysia, we have over 200 Ganonema, no? Time. And we selected only six. How, how do we know that this species of Ganonema is good or is no good? First, we can experiment on, on, uh, on chicken. Okay? Very simple experiment. 
the hands, after laying it for, for, for some years, they will stop laying the eggs. So if the genonoma can regenerate, so if we give the genonoma to the chicken, it will start to lay eggs again, that means it has regenerative. So, so we have so many types of genonoma in the jungle. So we, 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 we collect it one by one. Okay. Then we feed to the chicken. And chicken, they are very smart, you know. If the thing is good for them, so we, we feed to the chicken. Then the hen started to lay eggs again. Okay, then we know this genonoma will be good for regeneration. And another thing is that chicken do not live well outside. So when we feed the genonoma to the chicken, that if they can fly on top to the trees and spend the night on top to the tree, what does that mean? They mean it can energize the chicken. So after that, we, we selected, we selected uh, uh, six species of genonoma. Is the translation okay? <laughs> I'm talking about feeding the chicken, no? I'm not talking about flying the chicken. Huh? <laughs> this is the first stage of trying on our products. After that, we, we started to give to friends to this thing and to get a testimony. And fantastic testimony. Then the extent is formed. This is the first stage of the product. Afterward, you know. One gadonoma, you know, one gadonoma can produce how many gadonoma? One gadonoma can produce at least one million gadonoma. How? Because from one gadonoma tissue culture, okay, we can get one to two hundred uh, uh, first batch of spawn. We, we take the tissue from the gadonoma, we put it into this uh, petri dish, it starts to grow. Uh, we can get 100 to 200 plate. Okay, so those grow well one we keep, those doesn't grow well one we, we throw away. So we get 100 this. Then from this dress we transfer to the grain. Yeah, like this. Uh, so what do you call? Like this uh, barley, yeah, uh, and also this uh, oat. We transfer to the 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 grain. One this can transfer to at least 100. Bottle, okay. Then one bottle can transfer to another one hundred bottles. So one hundred, one hundred, one hundred multiplied three times is one million. That is not the end of the story, you know. Then one bottle you can sit at least three hundred genonoma bags. So theoretically, one one uh, what they call one genonoma, we can produce thirty million genonoma. But we are not going to produce all 30 million. We only select the best. Selection of the best. So we select, you know. So we plant the genonoma. After planting genonoma, even though it's tissue culture, some they're growing very well. Maybe one or two percent they grow very well. One or two percent is not growing very well. It's not growing well. So the one percent we select again. Then we tissue culture again. Okay, so we keep on selection, you know. After some years, our genonoma become very, very powerful. Genonoma takes about uh, three months, one cycle. But how about mycelium? What is mycelium? When we do tissue culture, okay, then if we can, if we grow the, the, the what do you call, if we grow the, this, uh, what do you call, the roots, uh, genoma don't have roots, they call mycelium, the white part, we grow it into a semi-solid culture, then it grow, okay, it grow very fast. We can harvest it in 14 stay. You remember many years ago, I talking about 17 days. That is 10 years ago. Now, 14 days we can harvest. Why? Because from the growth of the mycelium, we also select the best. We multiply. Select the best. We multiply. So there is a parallel development of genonoma and mycelium. 
Genoma take three months, one cycle. Mycelium take two weeks, one cycle. So after 20 years of uh, what do you call selecting the best of mycelium, now our mycelium become our GI become very very potent. So, so some leaders they they they, they even use only on on GL mycelium and they get beautiful beautiful result. In this aspect, no other company can compete with us. You know why? Because the genoma are not planted by themselves. The genoma is planted by farmers. So when you buy the genoma from farmers, how to determine the price? It's by kilo. One kilo, how much you buy from the farmers? So the farmers will go for the big genoma, the heavy genoma, and the old genoma. Because the older you plant, the bigger it is, it becomes very heavy. Okay? And this kind of genoma is useless. Because when is the best time to collect genoma? I have read many articles, no? They say you come to our genoma farm, you smell all the genoma fragrance. Finish. Because when you smell the genoma fragrance, they mean the genoma already emit all the spores, no? All the spores already go to the to the this thing. So when you, you see in any company, they say that their genonoma farms are full of good smell, good fragrance, never buy their products. They know nothing about genonoma. <laughs> they does not know genonoma. Okay? Uh, genonoma, you must harvest before the spore go into the air. And how do we know that this genonoma already matured? Our genonoma are very clever. Our species. Before it becomes matured, it becomes shiny. You look at the photo of our genoma. Okay, many people say that we put selex, no, we put something on a genoma to make it shiny. No, 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 no. This shiny is natural. Yeah. Ah, like the red color here. Ah, natural color. Huh? Yeah. When, you, when we grow genonoma, okay, at first stage come out is white in color. Later it turned into yellow, okay, then it turned into red. Then after that it becomes shiny. When it becomes shiny, then we must harvest because that is a sign that the spore is going to emit. Maybe this is the way genonoma can attract the animal to come and eat and spread the spore. We don't know. But it becomes shiny, becomes very beautiful, you know, just before the, this thing. And this species is only with the accent. Let's say you look at the photo of other company, they are very dull. They are, they are, their genonoma is look very dull. The accent one very shiny. Because after many years of selections. So the products that we give to you is a unique product you cannot find in any other company. In Malaysia, there are at least 20 genonoma companies wanted to compete with the accent. And most of them fail. Why they fail? Because the quality of the genonoma is not good. There is one listed company in Malaysia He planted the genonoma due to the wrong technique. The genonoma come out like branches. You look at our, our logo. This is not cactus, no? This is genonoma in the ancient language. Because when genonoma come out, when first go, normally come out with two or three. Uh, then after that, one of them will form into Genonoma. But this company, the genonoma keep on branches out. It never form the fruit body. 
But he went to the market. He telling the market that his genonoma is better than the accent's genonoma. Because his genonoma looked like deer horn. Chinese love the velvet, you know, the deer. The deer, when the, the horn is very small, the velvet eh, is very costly. Then they say that he has velvet genonoma. Oh, very good genonoma. <clears throat> so when the member come to tell me that this company has velvet, uh, there is the Dale Horn genonoma, much more powerful than DXN. We give the company one year to survive because this is the wrong technique. You, you know, in fact, you know, the kind is deformed genonoma. And now the company collapsed. Then he telephoned to my finance department whether DXN is interested to take over his farm. <laughs> so he quoted 5 million ringgit, which is about 1.2 million uh, euro. So we told them 1.2 million euro, we can establish three to four farms. And why should we buy the farm from you? So you see a lot of competition. First thing first, we, you must know the products from A to Z. How we select the products. Okay, from 200 species, we select into six species. Then many of our competition company claim that we are, because our products are so powerful, you know, so effective, so they claim that our products are under gene, or the, or GMO. Genetic modified object, uh, this, uh, this thing. Is our, our genome modified by genes? No. This is called natural selection. They compete and they select. When you study mushroom, people say that mushroom must live in a sterile environment. But for us, in order to get the best genonoma, we put them well in the jungle. We throw them to the jungle, let them survive. Sometimes we build it under the, 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 the ground, no? let them compete with other these things, then come out. Those genonoma, they can come out and they can survive. They are very, very powerful. So these are our common technique that we are using to do this thing. Many years ago, actually, DXN, we guarded this as our trade secret. We never talked to many people. Because at that time, not many Gendonoma company. But nowadays, almost every new MM company, especially from America, also in Europe, they will have Gendonoma coffee. <laughs> Everywhere, okay. So, DXN actually we are leading the market. Many companies are following us, do you know that? Last time, many companies, they go for big maintenance. And DXN, we go for small maintenance, 100 PV to 300 PV. Now you see most of the new MM company they go for low maintenance. And they must have coffee in this thing, so they put Genonoma coffee. Where do they get the Genonoma from? Many of them they get the Genonoma from China. You know China how they plant Genonoma? First, the land, eh? the land, they will cultivate some, uh, some uh, what do you call, uh, some agronomy, uh, some this, uh, what do you call, agricultural products. They, they plant something on the ground. Then a lot of insecticide, a lot of weedicide, a lot of chemical is used to this thing. After they harvest,
Then they plant the gendonoma in, uh, in a lock, in a, in a wooden lock. Okay? Then they build it under the ground. Then the gendonoma come out. The XN, we have the same technology. The problem is not with the gendonoma. The problem is with the soil. The soil is infected with chemicals. If you want to use this method, you must use it in organic farm. Because gadonoma, the absorption power is 30 times more powerful than the plant. As a result, the gadonoma from China always fill in heavy matter. There are three heavy matter always fill. First is lead. Lead, eh? Secondly is arsenic. Third is cadmium. Why arsenic and cadmium? Because arsenic and cadmium is the main ingredient for insecticide. They spray insecticide. Then it go to the ground. Then you plant gadonoma into the ground. Gadonoma is very good, you know, to detoxic the detoxify the ground. It absorb all the heavy metals. Thirty times more than vegetables. That's why they always fail. And many companies, inclusive our major uh, competitor, they do not have farm. So they bring people to China. Okay? So when they go to China, the Chinese quickly take down the advertisement board, put in the name of the company. So when they go back, they take down the board, then the farmer becomes assistant. The extent we have our own farm. Okay, we have our own selection technology. We planted the best genonoma. We do not plant the big genonoma, the heavy genonoma. If you go to Malaysia, you can see the genonoma. You know how big is the genonoma? As big as a table, four times this size. So big. So one gadonoma will be a few hundred kilometer kilogram, you know. So if this gadonoma is good, I think we become super rich. But the problem, this kind of gadonoma is useless. No therapeutic effects. And there are many companies in Malaysia. They are very proud to show people that they have gadonoma this big. But the company never take off. They try to promote in the, in the, in the airport. They try to promote in the, in the pharmacy. They try to do it in MLM. But they cannot take off because they took the wrong gadonoma. So now you must know the gadonoma that you are eating it's like your one world, one market system is unique. This is the first part, okay? That the species of Ganonoma is the best, best species that we have collected. Second part. How we process, process the Ganonoma to capsule. That is extremely important. Let's see how other companies doing it. In China, Japan, and Taiwan, they go for double boiling technique. What do you mean by double boiling? First, they buy all the big, big anonymous from the farmers. Then they boil. 
boil for four hours. Huh? Then they throw away the ganodama. This, uh, this, uh, what do you call? This, uh, 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 what do you call? This uh, ganodama water extract. They put into into this uh, second boiler. They boil for six hours to reduce the water. Okay. Afterward, they put in maltodextrin, dextrin, a kind of starch, to make it into powder. When you buy this type of ganodama, there is a lot of problem. First, when you use water to extract the ganodama, you can only extract 25 to 30 percent. 70 percent is wasted. Secondly, it's the water. All water contain minerals. You agree? All good water contain minerals. When you have one ton of water, okay, you just take out one glass and drink. It is good mineral water, correct? But if one ton of water, keep on evaporate, 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 you know, until you get one kilogram of extract, that is no good. Because any contaminant in water, after you evaporate all the water, it becomes very, very concentrated. And many people, after taking this kind of ganodama, they have kidney problem. They have liver problem. That's why you go to internet, they say, don't take ganodama. It causes liver problem. Don't take ganodama. It causes kidney problem. But in DXN, many people have fatty liver, Many people have this, uh, uh, what do you call, this uh, uh, liver hardening, fibrous, this uh, liver. Many people, the kidney is already shrunk, but after taking our ganodama, everything becomes okay. Now, can you understand why one ganodama causes liver failure, kidney failure? And one ganonoma, safe liver, safe kidney. <laughs> the extent ganonoma. What's the difference between the two? It's not a ganonoma. It's the way of treatment. So water boiling out. This technology should never be used for ganonoma. And you are not taking pure ganonoma. Because in order to make it the powder, they put in dextrin. So the capsule, 75% is starch. This kind of company is represented by this Taiwanese company. 20 years ago, when we started to push Malaysian Gadonoma in the market, one Taiwanese company, they come to see me. They offered 2,000 ringgit to buy over my company, uh, two, 2 million ringgit. 20 years ago, 2 million ringgit is a big amount of money. But I told him, no, I'm not going to sell the company to you. Then he became very angry. Then he told me, Lim, he said, my mega event, one mega event, okay, will cost me 100,000 USD to make one mega event. Okay, that is more than your one year sales. The time when the accident started, we have no sales, no? Okay. We have good training. When my people coming for the training, everybody wear the same, same, same cloth. This is a thing. We have good training. You do not have any good training, you know? Okay, this uh, is the thing. How are you going to compete with us? He's asking me, you know? I, I asked him, you are asking a wrong question. Competition is not by the, by the event, you know? Competition is not by how you dry your cross. I tell you, one bottle you're selling, how much is your, sell, your, your price? So 60 capsule, his price is, the time, not 20 years ago, 158 ringgit. Maybe about, uh, divided by four, about, about 30 to 40 euro. 
60 capsule. Okay, that time DX10, our product also very cheap, that time. So 30 RD, 30 GL, it's only 50 ringgit, that time. 20 years ago, don't look at today, huh? 20 years ago. Uh, this thing. Our price is four times cheaper than them. Then I asked him, how are you going to compete with me? Then he get very angry, you know. Oh, you see, young man, you are very smart, huh? He told me. Then he told me, next time when you come to Kuala Lumpur, because he go to Alastar to see me, you know, I will entertain you. You know what I just mean? You mean if I go to Kuala Lumpur, maybe he ask someone to go and piss me up. So I told him, sir, I told him, sir, you are talking about entertainment? So I told him, no, you know, which, where are you here now? You are in Alostar, no? Alostar is only, only less than one hour to Thailand. And this kind of entertainment, Thai is the expert. Ear, nose, hand, everything, they have a pie list, no? So I told them, if you want, we are doing business, no? If you want to go for this other thing, let it be. Next time when I go to Kuala Lumpur, I call him again, hey, I'm here, please come and entertain me. They do not come. So this type of company, we are not worried about them because they do not, pro they do not promote their products based on quality. They promote their products based on big events, based on how you dress. And sometimes, based on the tuck and hooligan to go and threaten people. <laughs> so in three years' time, we drive that company out of the market. When two companies compete in the market, how do you know that which company will win the competitions? How? It's not the way they build the HQ, you know? It's not the car that they are driving. It's not the cloth that they are, they, are, they are wearing. It is the quality of the products and also the quality of the service. When you join DXN, you see, for the past 20 years, no, there is no interrupted flow of materials. Whenever you want to buy the products, the products are always there. There's no interruption of bonus. Every month at the right, this thing, we, we, we give the bonus. When you talk about quality of the product, you must understand by now. Water treatment, out. Then there are many Malaysian companies. There are also many, even the company from the, in America. One, they, have, what they buy the Ganonama from China. Okay, then they put it into the oven to dry it. Why they want to put it into the oven to dry it? Because Ganonoma are fibrous. If you try to, to grind the Ganonoma, you cannot grind the Ganonoma. It becomes cotton. When they hit it, it becomes cotton, you know. They don't have the technology to solve this problem. They put it into the oven to harden the, 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 the fiber. So that the, the, the Ganonoma becomes half charcoal. It's very hardened after the heat, so that they can grind the powder, okay? Then put it in the capsule and give to you. That is the worst. That is the worst type of products. How DXN solve this problem? So first, when we harvest the Ganonoma, we go to freeze rice. You low temperature to dry the Ganonoma. We never use any heat. After that, we put into the crusher. This crusher is, is a special kind of chopper. You chop the ganonoma into a very fine cube, you know, very fine, fine cube. Then after that, we turn it at high speed. It do not become cotton. Because you already chopped in the small piece, no? So when we, when we put into the high speed, all the spores will release out. Uh, all the spores will release out. Then all the good fiber, you know, the, 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 the fine fiber also release out. Then we air suck. 
into another container. Then at the end, we have two products. One is the spore plus the fibers. That's why I caution our member in, in, in Twilight Hover, do not say that our Genonoma are spores. <coughs> Maybe I'm talking too fast. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. Please check the translation. My uh, my one is okay. Yeah, but only the translation is uh, not okay. I think the Hungarian translations. Yeah. Okay. No. 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 Okay. Hungarian. Okay. No. Okay. The hung Hungary translation. Maybe this trade secret, I should not talk too much, huh? <laughs> we, we, we chop it into very fine pieces. Then under the high, this, uh, what do you call, high speed of this thing, we separate out the spores. And also, this is a good part of this thing. It will go into the other air sac, into the other container. No? Hmm. Which, uh, uh, Slava? Okay now, okay now, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So we turn into her. So I think this part is very important now. That's why I to keep on explaining it. <laughs> Last time I do not discuss too much because this is our core technology. We turn the high speed, then the, 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 the fiber will go to the side. The spores. And although the good part of granuloma will be floating in the center, we suck it out. Then we have two products, the fiber and the good part of Gadonoma. Then we go for this um, nano grinding, fine grinding. So we invented a kind of grinder. We have five set of flywheel, five set. So, so when this uh, wheel is uh, turning, it's like a fan, you know, he suck out the powder. Then the powder will, will go through the, the wheel, but the wheel will, 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 is, a, is a roller, you know, on, on the wall. So you crush the spore, you crush the genonoma. Open successful crushing, it become lighter. Then he go to the second layer, he become lighter, he go to the third layer. So after he go through the fifth layer, it become very, very fine. This grinder will suck out the powder. Okay, powder is heavy. So the powder has to go through the first layer of grinding. If successful, it go up. If not successful, it go down. Then come out again, okay? So we have five layer of grinding. This is our technology. You, you don't go to internet to check, you know, you don't have this kind of the grinder. Uh, we, we are the one who invented it. Then we have water jacket. On the wall, we put cold water. So when it grinds, it's always low temperature. Then finally, you get your products. Actually, I have explained it many times, you know, the past 20 years. Because our technology are so unique, many people, they don't understand it. Even our member, they don't understand it. Many people and many competitors, they thought that you plug like genonoma, you grind into powder, put it into the capsule, then you sell. It's not like that. DXN, we remain the largest genonoma company in the world. Because we have a lot of testimony, am I right? Even our coffee also have testimony. Not to say our RGGL. You see, the market in Mexico, 
They don't have RGGL. They only have coffee. But the sales of Mexico alone is more than the whole Europe. <laughs> coffee only. And you can see how powerful is our product. So remember, the quality of the product, three things you have to remember. First is the organic certifications. It must be by ISO 14001. Secondly, is a selection of the best. Selection of the best. I just give you a general layout. Actually, there are still many details, no? If I talk all the details, then my competitor will follow, no? Then be a problem. <laughs> I just give a general idea. We select the best. Out of 200, we select six. No genetic engineering. After that, through freeze rice, Freeze drying, drying at a very low temperature, through fiber separation. We separate out the fiber and the good part of Ganonoma. So from 20 kilogram of mushroom, we get only one kilogram of powder, 20 to 1. So our genome are powerful. Even we put into the oil, the massage oil. Many people tell me that the oil you use very smelly. I told him I'm I'm using edible oil. I do not use refined oil. Because refined oil there's a lot of chemical. I use uh, raw and, and edible oil. You know why I use raw and, and edible oil? Why I do not use something like baby oil or something, uh, fragrance good oil? Because many people are taking the, our oil orally. In Indonesia, there's one woman having this, uh, uh, this uh, stomach cancer. The whole stomach becomes very big, you know? He have no money to go for operations. He not even have she not even have money, you know, to buy RG and GL. Then our member sold her one bottle of organo oil, get a massage oil, for her to massage the, the stomach. Okay, hopefully that she is not so painful because cancer is very painful. After he massaged the stomach, she feel good. Then he start thinking, you know, if I massage is good, if I can take into my stomach, it's even better. <laughs> so one day he take one teaspoon of oil. After three months of taking, you know, the whole cancer disappear. Disappear. Yeah. Even in coffee, the same thing happening in Australia. Australia, one member is diagnosed with big tumor, cancer tumor inside the body, had to go for operations. So he feel very depressed, no? Then every day he's drinking the accent coffee. He's not taking RGG. He he depressed, then he drink coffee, he feels better. Because our coffee is very good for depression. He drinks seven or eight cups of coffee, you know, a day. Morning until evening, keep on drinking the excellent coffee. By the time he, he, he go for this uh, operation, doctor check again. They couldn't farm any, any, any tumor anymore, no? But they proceed to go for operation. And the tumor is as big as peanut, very small. <laughs> so, so can you understand now why our products are so good? Because there is a serious technology behind the, behind the, this thing. DXN, we, we never follow what other companies are doing. And we do not take no for an answer. 
last time when we come out the idea of one world, one market, the IT section of the XNC is not possible. The finance section say it's not possible because every country using different tax system, different currency, how to be one world, one market. So I go to the external IT company, not a single IT company say it's possible. So what should I do? <laughs> and I become programmer. I buy the computer book, I started reading, I started program. Three months time. We wrote the program together with the programmer. Yeah. The same thing with products. Last time people say, oh, Malaysia cannot have Genonoma. The Genonoma only happened in China, Japan. No? They know nothing about Gedonoma. Gedonoma is so powerful, you know. It can even grow in desert, in jungle, in your garden. Except Antarctica, except this, uh, this thing. No Gedonoma. Every part of the world, even in Bulgaria, even in Germany, even, even in Europe, full of Gedonoma in the jungle. Even in India, from the north, north Himalaya until this Kerala, all have Gedonoma. So Gedonoma is so powerful, it exists everywhere. Good plan, yeah? <laughs> but they love Malaysia. Because Malaysia jungle full of Gedonoma. I went to the jungle in China. I didn't see much, I didn't see many Gedonoma. That's why Gedonoma in China in ancient time is very costly. It's much more costly than ginseng. So you must understand the technology of the company. When other company, they say, oh, the quality of the XM products is no good. You ask them, what do you mean quality? Who can certify quality? Quality cannot be certified by the company, you know? Because all the company will say, oh, my product is the best quality. So the quality cannot be what they call quality cannot be uh, uh, what they call programmed by the company. Just like a student, you know, his qualification cannot claim by himself. His qualification must go through the exam, okay? Then the result is his qualification. Am I right? For the company, the quality of products is always determined by third party through GMP, through ISO, through various of certification. Yesterday, uh, GJ, you say we have two GMP. We are more than two GMP. We, we, we have one GMP in Malaysia, one GMP in Indonesia, two GMP in India, no? four GMP we have, plus one TGA. From Australia, five GMP actually we have. And we have three ISO. ISO 2001 for the administrations, ISO 14001 for the organic productions, and most important thing for QC, quality control of the lab, we have ISO 17025. So those company. They don't even have a QC section. They only don't even have a QC ISO qualifications. How can they talk about quality with us? One member in Germany, 
he discussed the products in, the, in the, this thing. Then they said that one German company claimed that the, the, DX, the product of DXN is poisonous. So we asked him to go and ask the company, how many customers do you have? The company had less than 10,000 customers. And we have 5 million members throughout the whole world. No? So if, if the product of DXN is poisonous, I think out of 5 million people, many people must have died already. So we are running and kicking. And Mr. Lee can even climb the highest mountain on, in, in Malaysia. Yeah. Whether a product is poisonous or not, must be checked through laboratories. And we have this, uh, we have the best laboratory in the world for Ganonama. ISO 17025. For the last many years, no, I keep on talking about ISO 14001. I keep on talking about ISO 17025. Okay? Don't talk about ISO 2001. Many companies have the ISO 2001. But these two ISO, very few company having. But when I attend all the seminars throughout the whole world, very few people mention about that. You know why? Because people, when they are not familiar, they don't talk about it. But you as the leader of the XN, you must be familiar with this. This makes us different from other companies. So when they show you the, the, the organic certificate, you show them the ISO 14001. If they show you one GMP certificate, you can show them at least two to three from, from the XN. This on Gendonama. I think I need five hours uh, to talk about that. <laughs> So today, just give you some grims. How about spirulina? Spirulina, many institutions in Malaysia, they fail in spirulina. Why they fail in spirulina? Because when they culture the spirulina inside the laboratory, it's good environment. Constant temperature, constant light. The genonoma is very comfortable. No, sorry, the spirulina. So when they transfer into the pond, it becomes the food of many other algae, many other animals. Okay, it always collapses in the pond. So what the XN do with, with the spirulina? When we first get the spawn from overseas, we don't keep inside the lab. We put into the pond and 90 over percent die. Only very few survive. Those very few survive, we go into the lab and multiply it. Then we put into the pond again. Then 80 percent die. Then we take again, go to the lab, Multiply, then the third time, the fourth time, many, many times, until they survive. If the spirulina can't even take care of himself, how can he take care of us? This is the simple logic. He must be able to take care of themselves. Our Gedonoma, same thing, we throw it in the jungle, let it grow. Those who, those who grow one will become the spawn. Those who die one, get out. It's a survivor of the fittest. After that, the, the spirulina grow really well. Let's say you go to our farm. Our spirulina grow so thick, you know. No other algae can compete with them. Because our spirulina is very strong. So we do not need to put fungicide. We do not need to put a lot of chemical in order to control, to make it survive. The spirulina must be able to survive by itself. So this is how we get the best spirulina. Just like our member, no? 
I tell the story of the survivor. So I think uh, today, uh, due to the time constraints, I just give a, a little bit about the products. After that, I think we should go for the web seminar. Then I can talk long term uh, about the products. Today, just some introduction to warming up uh, for you. Okay, so I hope you all are happy with the quality of this thing. So thank you very much. Thank you.